my channel. It is Christmas in July, or depending on when you're watching this, it may be closer to the holidays. But today I have some brand new Christmas craft and DIY ideas that you can deck the halls with. I cannot wait to show you these Christmas ideas so you can get started early and you have them ready to go when the holiday season comes. I cannot wait to show you these, so stay tuned. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a Christmas cocoa, sit back, relax, and let's get started. I couldn't resist kicking off Christmas in July and the 2023 Christmas crafting season with these bells. I found these beach wind chimes at Dollar Tree and I thought they would be the perfect rustic bells. So I'm simply painting them with rub and buff in the color gold leaf. If you've never used rub and buff before, a little bit goes a long way. So you see, I just add a little dab to the bell and then I buff it in with my finger. You can also use a paintbrush too. So you just keep rubbing it on and it completely transforms these into rustic looking bells. Rub and buff comes in a variety of colors. I get mine at Hobby Lobby and you can see how it transforms these into rustic looking bells. Again, I'm using the gold leaf. Then I decided to add a little ribbon to the top of them as well. And this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. And with just a little bit of rub and buff, I was able to transform these Dollar Tree wind chimes into these beautiful rustic looking bells, perfect for a Christmas tree or to tuck in a Christmas vignette. So make sure you check Dollar Tree for these wind chimes so you can make these as well. Next up, I'm going to make a big tartan plaid bowl, perfect for a Christmas centerpiece. I have this large bowl from Dollar Tree. They come in a variety of styles. I'm simply adding a coat of Mod Podge on the bowl and then placing this tartan fabric from Hobby Lobby on top, smoothing it down as best as I can. Once I have it all smoothed down, there will be a little bit of pleating, but then I'm going to add a coat of Mod Podge on top of that. Once I add a coat of Mod Podge on top, I let it dry. And once it is dry, I flip the bowl over and trim off that excess fabric. Now my first thought was just to do the outside of the bowl, but once I flipped it over, I decided to do the inside as well. So next time I make this, I would definitely do the inside of the bowl first and then the outside, just so it's just a little bit easier to do it that way, especially around the edges, but it still works out fine. So anyways, I'm going to add a coat of Mod Podge inside the bowl and then add my fabric. There will be a little bit of pleating, but not too bad. Plus, you're really not going to see the inside. Now I'm going to trim off that excess fabric and then add a coat of Mod Podge on top of that. And to give the rim of the bowl a finished look, I am going to hot glue some ribbon around the edge. And here is this decorative tartan bowl all done. I love the way it turned out and this will be so much fun to decorate and change out for the holidays. 
And for this centerpiece, I placed a riser inside of the bowl, placed a glass candle holder from Hobby Lobby on top, then added in a flameless candle that I had and this beautiful greenery wreath around it. I'll include a link for this wreath in the description below. Next up, I'm making Santa napkin rings. Wait until you see how cute these turn out. I'm using an empty paper towel roll. You could use a toilet paper roll, whatever you have on hand. And I'm just cutting a little over two inch pieces off of it. Next, I'm going to cut my red felt from Hobby Lobby into two inch strips. And then I'm going to hot glue those strips onto my paper towel rolls, attaching it with hot glue. Once the hot glue is dry, I trim off the excess felt. And now I'm gonna use this Yarn Be Yarn from Hobby Lobby and attach it to the top and the bottom with hot glue. Next, I have black ribbon also from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to wrap it around the center, attaching it with hot glue. And finally, I make a little buckle with a pipe cleaner also from Hobby Lobby. So I just make a little square and then I trim off the excess with my wire cutter. Then I hot glue the buckle onto the center and look at how cute these turned out. I ended up making six of them. They were super easy to make and I just love how these look for a holiday table. Next up, I'm going to make tartan plaid stocking ornaments. You can grab this pattern that I made on my blog. I'll include a link for it in the description below, or you can freehand your own. And I'm using a Sharpie just so I can see the line so I can cut it out. You could also pin the pattern to the fabric too. And I am actually drawing it since I'm using a Sharpie on the wrong side of the fabric. So then I'll flip it out and you won't see the Sharpie, but you can do whatever works best for you. Again, you can pin it to the fabric too and cut it out that way. I just wanted to make sure I could see my line. So once I trim out my stocking, now I'm going to hot glue around the edges, leaving the top open and you could use whatever fabric you want i just love tartan plaid for the holidays it is so classic and christmasy you could use homespun as well that would be really cute too i love homespun as well so i just add my hot glue now i'm going to add my other piece on top of that Next, I add a little bit of stuffing into the stocking to give it a little bit of fullness. You could use stuffing from the craft store or use stuffing from an old pillow. That's what I like to do. And then I trim a little piece of ribbon. I'm going to hot glue that into the stocking so I have a little hook. So these can be hung on the Christmas tree. And then I add some hot glue into the top of the stocking to seal it closed. I add a little hot glue to the top of the stocking and wrap it with this yarn. This is the same yarn that I also used for the napkin rings. And I actually do two rows just so it is nice and full.
And finally, I make a little bow and I'm going to hot glue that to the top of the stocking. And look at how darling these turn out. These were so fun to make and would be so fun for a Christmas craft night as well. You can hang these on the tree or even hang them on a wreath. I just love the way these turned out. And finally, I'm going to make a light up ornament with two plastic bowls from Dollar Tree. And then I also have some string lights. These I had on hand. I can't even remember where I got them, but you can find them at the craft store and all over the place. So I am simply going to add the string lights in the center, but leaving the battery pack on the outside. And then I'm going to hot glue around the edges and add my other part of my bowl on top of that. Once I have the bowls attached, I decided to add some ribbon around the center of the bowl. So I am just going to attach it around that center piece where both of the bowls meet with hot glue. Next, I just made a simple bow and I'm going to attach it to the top with hot glue and then add a bunch of greeneries and a little bit of berries and then even a couple of bells and a pine cone. This was really fun to embellish. The cedar is from Hobby Lobby. I had it on hand. And then the other pick that I am using, I actually got after the holidays at Michael's, I got a ton of it for like $10 when they have like their little mystery bags after the holidays. And I just got a, so much of it. I was so, so excited. So I'm also using that as well. And just look at how pretty this top looks and really gives this such character. And the end result, it is so pretty. It turned out really, really Really good. I just, I just love this. And I think this will be perfect to decorate with for the holidays. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And for daily decor and DIY inspo as well as weekly live crafting, make sure you follow me on my Facebook or Instagram page at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.